Welcome back to Central Valley Talk. You know, we started this show in this network in 2008 because people kept saying there's nothing to do in Fresno or Clovis or the Valley. So we look around, we find cool people uh, who are doing cool things, especially when it comes to our health and exercise and fitness, uh, which we're all working on all the time. So we looked around for an expert in that area and we found an expert and our expert today is coach randy hannah welcome coach hello welcome coach to randy you. coach randy yes yeah. sir thank you and you are by the way uh swole yes, fitness sir. what's swole fitness uh, swole is an acronym okay. that actually stands for strong without limitations every day it's our approach and our mentality towards our health and fitness goals now by the way you just opened or opening uh no we're actually going into our third year business we just had our new location new grand location. reopening grand at 1156 yeah. clovis avenue on the corner of clovis and barstow clovis and barstow yeah yes, that's sir. right there mm -hmm. kind of Close to downtown, yes, sir. in the middle of things, yep. and and what are you? Gonna, is that a big place, a small place? Oh, uh, we're actually a small training facility, but we're producing big results. Okay, yes, sir. So is it for one on one or a small group? Uh, one stop shop. We do one on one training. We do small group fitness. We do youth athletic training. I have a branded fitness app, and any way you need to get help, we're here to help you. Yeah, and I'm interested in the uh, uh, what did you call the youth? Uh, the youth athletic training. Yeah, and um, is that a picture of that right there? Boom. Yeah, that's the guy right there. Athletic. He's one of the new athletes. I just signed up, uh, Diego Gamez. I'm actually working with him uh, starting yesterday. Now, I uh, we talked about this last time you were here because if you're a parent and you want your kid to get good at something, they need some specialized training. True, I, I agree. Mine are musicians. They each got a private lessons in mm -hmm. their instrument and a lot of training, very intense. Um, some kids are brainiacs and they want to train for the SATs. What you know, math maybe mm -hmm. math. Mm -hmm. uh, but if your kid's going to be an athlete, they can't just go to PE class and become. No. They no. need a private lesson. Yes, sir. I, I I do agree. I tell my clients all the time: if you only train with the team, that's just as good as you're going to be. Yeah. Nowadays, you have to be doing so much more just to be doing enough. These young kids are so amazing athletically. Yeah. They're doing three to four practices a day. They're doing training because they want to be great, and I want to help them with that. And there's a lot of competition out there, so yes, you, got, definitely. The, you need that extra little thing. I, I, when I was in high school, I was on the tennis team. <laughs> and I, I thought, man, I'm really good, you know. But all these other kids are really, really good. And I didn't realize they're all out getting lessons yeah. on the outside with really good coaches. So True. what how does um, what I've been learning is about form. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Uh, form is one of the, not one of, it's the most important thing. If you have bad form, you can cause... Uh, a lot of different issues. According with uh, muscle tears, um, maybe you're not hitting your goals properly. Maybe you're not really getting those muscles or getting those gains that you think, and it could be because of bad form. Um, the main thing about fitness is we want to maximize our production and reduce our chance to injury, and the better our form, the better the chances are we have to reduce those injuries. I'm at the gym lifting, 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 and my buddy is a trainer, but I will never pay him, so he just kind of gives me a little nod every once in a while. Hey, those weights are getting a good workout, aren't they? Yeah. And I get what he's saying now. I wasn't getting a workout. I was just right. moving the equipment around. Right. And you get the right form, makes all the difference. Makes all the difference in the world. Ten reps of one weight can feel a lot different the way you perform the movement. Uh, intensity, uh, tempo, um, speed of the movement. Arnold Schwarzenegger said you have to jump inside of the muscles. Mind to muscle connection is so important when working out. Okay. I've switched to lighter weights because I could find that you know, going inside the muscles better yeah. and instead of always trying to show off and look heavy weights all the time. Yeah, they call that ego lifting. Ego lifting. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to be an ego lifter. You, you want to work your way up. It's called a progressive overload. Mm -hmm. Start where you are, work with what you have, and build from there. Yeah. B biggest thing is trying to stop keeping up. I mean, I'm a small guy. I'm only a five foot four or whatever, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to keep up with all these guys, so, you know, I can't do that. i got to get to my Yeah, my definitely. We have a perfect like philosophy for that. We say your heavy is not my heavy. But we all have a weight to carry. So it's an acknowledgement that we're all in here for the same reason. In the gym, I mean, to get healthy, to be more fit, or whatever the case may be. But your heavy is not my heavy. And once we realize that, you'll do your thing with no problem without worrying about who's watching or anything But like that's that. why you need a trainer. True. You know, I'm I an do. expert in, in music I, and uh, expert in technology and broadcasting. I know nothing about lifting weights. So, But you live it day yeah, in, day I, day in, day I, it's, I work out for myself seven days a week, but that's beside the point. It's more or less how I can help others to, I guess, treat it the way or have fitness work for them the way it's worked for me. One thing you do that uh, a lot of other 
experts don't is you got training, you got certifications and stuff. Sure. Tell me about that. Yes, I'm certified through the National Academy of Sports Medicine. I hold three certifications as a certified personal trainer, a performance enhancement specialist, and also a group fitness instructor. Um, and just to throw a little bit on there, a virtual coach as well. So I do online coaching. We're a one-stop shop. Mm -hmm. If you have a need, we can meet that need. Right. Yes, sir. Now, let me ask you this. If uh, there's a single person, um, they need some training. And by the way, when I get training, I don't like to go to the gym where there's 50 people watching. Mm -hmm. But in your spot, they could come just by themselves. Yes, we have a private training facility just for that reason. A lot of people do not like crowded gyms. Right. They feel like everyone's watching them. They have It's called a gym phobia, actually. We want to give them a safe space and then get them back in the gym. My program helps these because most people, if you think about it, they have a gym membership, but that's just it. Mm -hmm. They're paying that money, but they really don't use the membership the way it is. Oh, boy. We help them get back into the gym the right Wouldn't way. that be a good rack to one of these big gyms? Everybody pays on New Year's, and then they don't call, come all year. They don't come all year. They're just getting the money in. Yep. So do you train them maybe one or two days a week, and then they go to the gym and apply what you showed them? Um, depending on how long they uh, commit for me. So we have short-term, mid-term, long-term training. Most of my clients are on my long-term training, which is a 12-month agreement. With that 12-month agreement, they get access to my online training app. So essentially, oh. I train with them three days a week, but I program for up to five days a week via my app. So Through when the they app. go to the gym, they take me in the gym with them virtually. Nice. Very cool. Now, uh, how does a small group work? It's a couple of people that know each other or a family? Um, or? They don't necessarily have to know each other, but they do have to have similar goals. Uh, and I like to keep it small so that I can keep an eye out on what they're doing. Our job is to produce results and not just show up to show up. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, do you ever get that, a husband and wife? or? Oh yeah, husband and wife, uh, friends, um, whoever needs the help, we're here. I actually have two couples that I'm training, yeah. a husband and wife couple. Yeah. Get a couple girlfriends, three girls or whatever, and yeah. they want to time off from their husband, they go to the gym, it's pretty healthy It's outing. true, it's true. The only thing I ask is that they've made that commitment to themselves. Okay. Because if they don't make a commitment to themselves, then they can't commit to the program that I'm running. And then it's a waste of time and money. And we want to let our clients get a return on their investment for their health and fitness and not just throw money away. Not, they're not just there for a girls' night out. To no, no, no. They, can, they got to, plenty of other things for they're that. They're there to build. And, We're and here to produce up, results. So. Yes, sir. Now, um, so let's say somebody says, ah, that sounds interesting. I need to check that out. Where should they start at your website? Um, yeah, if they're they can go through the website www.swellfitnessfresno.com, or if they're on social media like the world is, they can go uh, search me up on at IG, uh, Instagram at swellfitness underscore Fresno, and they can connect with me through there. They can send me a contact form, anything like that, and we can talk and go from there. Very good. I, I'm sorry, I always have so many questions when you come. <laughs> what do you got? Anything else you want to tell um, our viewers? Actually, I actually I do. We're doing our first art hop event. Oh, Right. Uh, put on by the Fresno Metro Black Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. It's a cohort connection edition. And it's actually uh, August 3rd. It's the first Thursday of every month. Yeah. So it's August 3rd. It's at uh, Kern Plaza in downtown Fresno. It's our first art hop event, so we're excited about that. Now, uh, Fet Fresno Metro Black Chamber. Mm -hmm. I know those guys, very cool guys. Yeah, and girls. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And uh, so it'll be at their office? Uh, not at their office, but uh, by, I believe, Home Run Alley by Chachansi yeah. Park and Kern Plaza, right? That's there. at Kern Plaza. It's that area that goes right into the park. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. will there be art there, you think? Um, there's going to be art vendors, uh, food vendors. Yeah. Uh, photography vendors, some of everything. I, I think the best of the city comes out at these art hops, and I'm glad to be a part of it. So that'll be a day if somebody just wants to meet Coach Randy and get to know you a little, yeah. come by there and say hi. Yeah, maybe do a little arm wrestling thing or something like that. <laughs> that will be fun. Art hop is, I started the show by saying, you know, we started this because people say there's nothing to do in Fresno. Right. That art hop is a cool event, yeah. isn't it? The, yeah. the first Thursday of every month, and it's in the Tower District, it's downtown. But that area right there where you're going to be, mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff happening around there, some food yeah. trucks and stuff like that. What else do you want our viewers to know? Um, basically, that, that's it. We actually all, one important thing, yes. the group classes. We have an amazing group class that we're going to start up in September. Small group, and that's all I'll put out for right now. But more information, please hit me up on the site, swellfitnessfresno.com, or through my IG information there. Yeah, do that Instagram, do the uh, the. Uh, uh, webpage and I'll put this picture up there's a there he is coach Randy couple workout <laughs> section sessions you could just look just like that we'll be back with more Central Valley talk right after this